Hey guys, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel, Brave Steven Nails. I have a little bit of a janky setup today. I wanted to try something a little different. I have my tripod on a trusty shoebox because we're very high tech here at Brave Steven Nails. I wanted you guys to be able to see a little bit more surface area because these plates are larger than the BPS plates that I normally work with or use for nail art. What I wanna do for you guys today, and to keep this video from being like 3,000 hours long, I think what I'm only gonna do is swatch four plates and then I'll, I'll split it up into two different videos and then do the other ones in a separate video. But I did promise that I would try out the nail protectors. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'm only gonna do one nail. I'm gonna swatch one nail with this on and if it works hey great we all know they work I don't want you guys to have to watch me struggle with putting them on all four actually five nails I painted my thumbnail today if you're wondering what this is it's vapid oh so gorge it's called stressed out the problem with this setup is that now I can't see my camera so I can't tell if it's in focus or not and y'all know I've been struggling with that whole problem so I raised my tripod and consequently I had to put a pillow in my chair to get my fat ass up a little higher. So anyway, I'm going to try not to struggle and I'm going to try not to make my desk all wobbly, but I'm going to jump right in here with one of these nail protectors. I don't know what to call them. Latex free nail protectors. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, oh, and let me tell y'all, yesterday when I got so excited and I took this one out and just like played around with it, the first time I stuck it on, I stuck it on backwards. Literally like I had it on this way. Not on my nail, of course, but yeah, like the long part was sticking out of the front and I'm like, these things are jacked up. No, I'm just dumb. I'm dumb. So I'm gonna try to place this and I really hope y'all can even see what I'm doing because this camera setup is a little suboptimal for me. But we're going to push through because this is what we do here. All right. Not too bad. And I don't really need to do this today because I'm actually going to stamp over this purple with white polish. And white's not super messy to clean up. And quite honestly, I enjoy the cleanup process. I find it to be a bit therapeutic. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that. But cleanup usually doesn't bug me. So there. I think I got it on about as close as I need it. And no drying time. That's what I love about the concept of this. Because I do love my li liquid latex. But sometimes, ugh, waiting for that stuff to dry, it gets tedious. Especially if you're water marbling or you have to do, you know, more than four nails. More than one nail at a time. So anyway, there's that. Feels good. I can bend my nail. So what I'm going to do is start with You Are Beautiful 2. And once I stamp all five of these nails, as usual, I move on to my paper and I swatch on paper. So for the purpose of this review, I have four different stampers. Look at me holding up three fingers. I have four different stampers and I have two different color polishes, the black and the white. And I'm gonna put the white on. I try to I try to hot pink. I tried a queen neon pink earlier and it didn't really show up all that well on the purple. So I switched it up a little bit so we're just gonna go white on this purple and I don't know where to start. Oh, this plate's so, so beautiful. Let's go with the, um, the little water droplets and see what we get. And for this, I will use my Messy Mansion Carbon Stamper. I've actually never used these before, so this will be the first time Oh, I love these plates, you guys. Use gases. Oh, look at it. Look at it. 
So here we go. Perf. Perf. Love that. Loving. Okay. There's my first one. Now I will peel this off. I probably don't even need my tweezers, but I guess it's habit. I'm gonna peel this little guy off. Whoop. Oh man, just a little bit of cleanup needed over there. Actually, no. No, I don't. It's on my nail. Well, maybe a tiny bit. But I was able to get that right up next to my cuticle and my nail. So hardly any cleanup at all. But look at that adorable little water droplet image. I have some vinyls that are similar to this, but they're all the same size. Like the little drops are all the same size. Every time I look at them, I don't know, they kind of remind me of sperm. So I'm gonna go for this image right here. Fell in love with that. It kind of reminds me a bit of like a beaded curtain. I think it'll be really cute for Christmas designs for some reason, I don't know. It kind of gives me a little bit of a Christmas vibe too. So let's try this. And this is an image that's on the edge of the plate. So sometimes those can get kind of wonky when you're scraping. Hopefully this works. Eh, looks pretty good. Oh, look, only a couple of bald patches over here because of, come on camera. That's on the very edge. That was on the very edge of the plate here, but not mad about it. Cute. I like it. I like it. Sorry, y'all. I had to lose the shoe box. I couldn't deal with fighting with my camera. My camera didn't know what to focus on. Lost the shoe box. Uh, I'll try to figure something else out when I, when I start swatching on the paper. But for right now, I think I want to try to put this image on my ring finger. So far, so good, people. I'm loving the plates. Ooh, good scrape. And, oh, great pickup. Great pickup. Love it. Cutesy. For my pinky nail, I think I'm gonna go with this little image right here, since he's kind of small. My nail, that is, is kind of small. And since I'm not using a clear stamper, let's pray that, I don't know, let's just pray. Great pickup, stupid camera. Let's see, okay, well, I've done worse. I've done worse in my life. Oh my God, this camera. Okay, so it's not perfect placement, but it will do for the purpose of these swatches. Love it. Now what to do on the thumb? Go with the big flower right here. It's pretty good size. I won't get it all on my thumb, but We'll see, we'll see what it looks like. It might not even look like a flower if you can't get the whole image on there. Ooh. All right, hang on you guys. This is a corner image, so. Doot, 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 doot. I don't really know. What's the best way to scrape it? Which direction? All right, we'll try that. Ah, still kind of gorge. All right. All right, let me refocus and see what we're getting here. It does look like a flower, okay. 
I'm digging that. I'm digging it. That white background. There we go. That's a pretty detailed image. But again, hmm. Images on the corner. I don't know. They're always kind of a crapshoot. I also just wanted to show y'all the finished product. I have not top coated over the stamping polish, but I'm thinking the quality, well, at least the quality of plate UR02 is pretty phenom. So yeah, I'm loving, loving, loving that. So let me zoom out here. We'll get going on You Are Beautiful 4. Oh, there's so many cute images. I don't even know where to start. Let's try these little pineapples. These have a lot of little detailed lines in them. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Wow. I have never had a stamping polish stain my scraper before. Ever. I mean, I'm like rubbing and scrubbing on this. It is stained. I've never seen that. What is wrong with you, canned nail polish? A couple more images on this plate. And then we will move on. Oh my, that's nice. Ooh, that is very nice. I'm gonna try this little image right here that says I was made for summer. I usually, I typically don't do a lot of stamping with the little words and phrases, but I for sure wanna make sure that they work for you guys if you decide to pick up these plates. And let's see how detailed we get here. Let's see, I was made for summer. Well, the flamingo's really cute. It might be, hang on, let me pull this up to my face. Yeah, that's totally legible. Love, love him, he's so cute. Okay, here's our third plate. Beautiful 09, and it's our Asian theme design. I think I'm gonna go with these little clouds. I love those. Hmm. Well, all right. Okay, that turned out not to be too terrible. Even though, you know, these side images, they can get a little weird. But no, that's not bad at all. Not bad. Let's stick them on here. Whoop. Yeah. Cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. So that was our, those were our little clouds. Let's move on to this one. That's got a lot of negative space in it as well. Let me zoom in here. There we go. Sorry guys. I don't know why I'm driving the struggle bus today, but apparently I am. Okay. Really pretty. This plate is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, well, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll try it again. Tried picking that up again with my sticky stamper and it worked much, much, much better. Let's stick it on here. So 
see if you guys can see. Yeah, that worked much better with the sticky stamper. I might need to reprime that marshmallow head again. <sighs> Not really sure, but I'll try that later. But I just wanted you to, to see that that image does pick up. I love, love, love the tiger. I keep wanting to call him a lion and he's obviously not a lion. Um, for this one, I think I'm gonna move over to my big blue. Love, love, love him. And see how these do with clear stampers. So let's give them a shot. And this stamper head's probably big enough to pick up the whole thing too, so. We shall see. Ooh, okay. You guys probably can't see that because of the glare. And to be quite honest, I can't hardly see it either. So let's put him on here and take a gander. He turned out okay but the scrape over here between the, uh, <laughs> I almost said lion again, we'll call him a liger, between the liger and the flower, it got a little puddled up. So that's what this right here is, looking kind of nappy. Right over here, but him, I mean, him, he looks pretty good. I don't know, maybe I'll try him one more time. All right, I picked him up again with big blue and I know you guys can't really see him. So I'll put him back on here and it turned out so much better. Much better scrape than the last time. So the Liger, the Liger works. Hey, I lied, I do wanna do one more. Let's try the temple. Let's try the temple. And I wanna use big blue again. I just wanna confirm that you can stamp these details with clear stampers. Not a good scrape on my part. Yeah, terrible scrape on my part. Jeez Louise, Tara. Oh Lord. Okay, however, ignore the nasty scrape over here. Look at all the little details that the that Big Blue picked up. Remember clear stampers like even a year ago? Oh, they, they oh, oh, they wouldn't hardly pick up anything really. All right, the last plate I want to do for you guys today is the You Are Beautiful 12. It's the uh, the little animal plate. And remember in the last video, last night I was like. What the hell is up with these two? It's like they just took some rando stuff and popped them on a plate with some dogs, hipster animals. Uh, yeah, <laughs> after I watched my video back a few times last night, I realized that the missing images are on the UR13 up here at the top because the original UC plate has these four images on with all the rest of the animals where they belong. So. Again, not really sure what the You Are Beautiful folks are thinking when they just like take some random stuff and plop it somewhere else. But this plate will be done for y'all tomorrow. Right now, I wanna do the hipster wiener. All right, I'm just a little too excited about him. So let's get going. So cute. All right. Oop, sorry guys. Look at him. Look at him. It picked up all the little polka dots in his tie. All the little wrinkles on his little furry face. So cute. Can you see it my nose back there? I don't know why I'm so obsessed with y'all being able to see it, my nose or not. Anyway, he's cute, love him. I'm gonna do the word rescue right next to him and I'm gonna stamp him on paper. And then at the end of all these swatches, I'll show you guys, because I've kind of been going back and forth between the paper 
and my lint roller for whatever reason. But I just wanted to show you that the phrases do stamp. Oops. Here we go. And as you can see, I got a little bit of the image next to it. But Rescue stamps beautifully. The swirlies have been added to the plate, so I guess I have to try to swatch them. They don't really belong here, but we're going to make sure they work. Oh yeah, I'll say they work. They work. Now we'll do one more image on this plate and I think I'm gonna go with the little paw prints. It has a lot of negative space. And y'all will get to see me struggle with scraping another image on the side of the plate. I apologize. I always have a hard time with these. That's not too bad. Oh, look. I love it. Love that. What is up with my damn camera today? Hello. Come back to Earth. Why is it all bright? Ugh. Before I share with y'all the swatches, what I quickly wanted to do was kind of give you a bit of a rundown on the little cotton pads that I showed y'all last night that came in the tiny little smallest package of 100 ever. Um, they are, they say they're cotton. I assume that they are. They're very, uh, I don't know, like cheese clothy. That's kind of what I'm calling them. Kind of gauze-like. So when you put your liquid, whether it be your isopropyl alcohol or your acetone on there, it does come through on the other side. Last night I took off the mani that I had on that was like the, the trees with the vines. I took that off. It wasn't too messy because my base color was nude. I think it had, I had like a dark color or a black and I tried to remove it with this. It would have come through on my fingers and it would have been a disaster. However, what I've decided to do is, and I don't know if you guys can really see. Well, let's use the animal plate that I just used because this one, see how cloudy that is? That is really foggy. So let me zoom out here. What I wanted to show you guys, I have my bottle. This is just a spray bottle of isopropyl alcohol. And what I have been doing with my plates with these little, these little guys is I squirt my plate down just a little bit with alcohol and go over with the little cotton pad and then I can take my napkin and sort of sop up, you know, the excess. And it gets rid of all of that cloudiness. So I'm really happy for, uh, for that use, you know, with these little cotton pads. So that looks much better so these aren't a total waste I mean they do clean they did remove my nail polish last night um, you know I didn't waste a dollar on these bad boys I will use them and I will say that when I remove removed my nail polish with these last night I didn't have any fuzzies nothing got stuck in my crusty cutes and sh you know shredded all over the place so I was happy with that the other thing that I wanted to mention during this review, you know, I showed y'all, and I still can't get over this, how the stamper is stained. Look at that. I've never in my life seen, a, not a stamper, a scraper. Well, hell, my stamper too. Y'all can't see that, but I can. <sighs> y'all, I had never seen this before. So what I did was about halfway through, well, actually right after I discovered that, that the black was staining my scraper, I when I purchased these a couple videos ago, you might have seen, I bought two of them. So I just switched. I put the one that I was using that stained up my shit. I put it back on the shelf. It'll probably go in the trash now. And I tried this one and I did all the rest, probably two plates, maybe two and a half plates with this other one, which I don't get. It's the exact same brand. It's the exact same color. I got it from the exact same place. I don't understand why one bottle would stain the crap out of my stuff like that. And the other one wouldn't but there we are 
So, just a little update. Let me know if you guys have experienced that before, where, you know, you have two of the exact same polishes and one performs differently than the other one. So let's move on to our swatches. Uh, I apologize that I'm having to show you guys both of these because, you know, I don't know. I was going back and forth. I was all over the place. But I wanted to show you, I did, you guys did see the rescue and let me, there we go. You guys did see this one that I swatched, but I wanted y'all to see up close the, and I can move my lamp back over here now since the plates are gone, but I wanted y'all to see the detail in the, the negative space images and this one too. I mean, that's, there's something back here on the back. Oh. That's coming through. I think I put acetone on it. So if you see that little grayed out spot right there, that's not from the image. That's, I don't know, me being an idiot. And here's me being an idiot again, waiting too long to stamp my chevrons. Uh, again, another super cute negative space image. And look at all the little details in these pineapples. As y'all can see, those look pretty great. And then back to this one. Look at our little hipster wiener and our liger. And that one that I finally got to work with the sticky stamper. Love it, love it. Uh, and our temple. Again, this and this. That's my scraping. I'm just terrible at life sometimes. Oh, okay, what did I do? What did we do? We did four plates. <clears throat> we did four plates. Let's zoom out again. Four plates. Uh, I think I have five left to do for y'all tomorrow. I am loving these. I am super duper duper happy so far. And, you know, I I want to thank you guys. I got a lot of really great feedback last night. Um, a lot of people super excited about these plates. A lot of y'all have them on the way or you've just gotten them and you haven't had a chance to do a haul video yet or a review. And when you do, let me know because I, I can't wait. I can't wait to, to see y'all's videos. But I want to thank you for not coming at me, you know, some type of way and giving me attitude about these. Um, I want to thank you guys for not, you know, coming after me. If you do, you do, whatever. You ain't gonna, it ain't gonna bother me. But I just wanted to thank you guys for being, I mean, the nail art community is so great in general. And overall, I have received nothing but positive feedback, like from day one of my nail art journey. I reviewed this today too, and they work pretty well. So all in all here, I kind of did three different, you know, three different little little reviews for y'all. And if you have them, when you get them, if you're thinking about getting them, let me know. Let's chat. Let's talk. And stick around for hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to upload the rest of my five plates, uh, the reviews on those. So, um, yeah, let's chat. Appreciate y'all sticking around. And as always, like, comment, share, definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.